Hello, this is Gary Benoit, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the functions in the plotter dialog window. The plotter dialog window is where you will actually do your cutting and editing of patterns. If you click the cut button, it pulls it into the plotter dialog window. And I'm going to start by going up here to the pattern edit and path drop down list. And basically what these do is that they show you the keyboard shortcuts for performing many of the functions here on the left. So for instance, if you want to use a keyboard shortcut to, to cut, you just hit control P. Same thing under edit and path. Right here is the optimize button for optimizing patterns for a specific size roll. You can either use it up here or you can use this function down here on the left which will bring this window up. And it defaults to 20 inches because you can save a lot of money by using computer cut in 20 inch rolls. So in the drop down list here you can select whatever width roll you have in the plotter. In this case we'll use the 20 inch and we'll click apply and it'll optimize these windows for a 20 inch roll. To learn more about this and how it can benefit you there is a specific video on how to optimize for 20 inch rolls under support and under video support on the computer cut member site. Next, if you put your mouse over each one of these functions here, it tells you exactly what these functions do. The next thing I want to point out is this checkbox for cut on a pull. This is very important when you're cutting window film because what it does is it cuts the film when it's only pulling it back through the plotter and does not cut it when it's pushing it through the plotter. This almost totally eliminates the film from jamming up on the plotter on you. So whenever you're cutting window film, you want to make sure that this checkbox is checked, cut on the pull. Next to it is resize enable. When you pull up a pattern into computer cut, it defaults to not being able to resize the pattern. This prevents you from mistakenly grabbing a pattern in the wrong area and resizing it inadvertently. If you want to resize a pattern, just check this box and then it will allow you to resize it. Next, when you put your mouse over the functions on the left here, a window pops up and it tells you exactly what these functions do. The first thing is the cut button. This is where you send the patterns to the plotter. Whenever you hit this button right here, it cuts everything in this window, whether it's selected or not. So even the window that is not selected will be cut and sent to the plotter. If you only want to cut a particular window, let's just say this one right here, and I'm going to move it up here. If you hit the cut select window, it's only going to cut this window. First, it's going to ask you though, do you want the selected pattern to be plotted at coordinate zero, zero? Zero, zero is down here on the lower left. This is actually the right size of your plotter. This is the left side of your plotter. So if you click yes, what it will do is it will artificially move this window down here and it'll start to cut it at the right side of your plotter. If you click no, it's going to cut it exactly where it is on the window here. So in other words, it's going to move the material out this far and it's going to cut it in this area. The next function is the copies and overlap. If you want to cut multiple copies of whatever is in this window, you just put in the number of copies in here and it'll cut one right after another. 
overlap is if you want to cut over the same image twice. Next is the print icon. This prints out anything that you have in the window here. So you might do a design and want to print it out and show it to a customer. Uh, you might be doing paint protection and you want to see what parts go where. So if you want to print out the images, you can hit the print button and it'll send it to your printer to be printed. The next function is the save function. You can use this if you want to save whatever you created in here to your private database. So you just put in a category here and we'll just say computer cut video and we'll call it Mustang and click save and what that does is it saves it to your private database which is over here under the drop down list for the database it's called my database and this da database is totally private to you and is not available to anybody else so we'll click on my database and we'll go to computer cut video and Mustang and the windows pop up here so this is how you can save images privately to yourself next is the import function you can create images using outside design software such as Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape and if you save it out as a Adobe Illustrator version 3 vectored file or an SCV file from Inkscape you can import those images into computer and use them and cut them next is the undo function and the redo next is the outline function now you wouldn't want to use this in window film but it's very useful when cutting paint protection patterns I'll go ahead and pull up a paint protection pattern. We'll close this out and we'll go up into clear shield paint protection. And just quickly, we'll just uh, click on the new and updated and it'll pull up, uh, in this case, a Jeep Cherokee. And it comes in handy when you want to weed out a, an image. So let's just say we're going to cut these windows here and click cut and then we'll select these here and to select two of them I hold the control key down on the keyboard and it'll select the two of them and then I can hit outline and right now it's set at a half inch so we'll click OK and what it does is it throws a half inch outline around these images and it makes it easier to weed rather than having to weed out this whole extra material here all you have to do is to weed this material out here also if you wanted to enlarge a pattern so that you can wrap it you can click on the wrap function and what it will do is it'll throw about a half inch onto this pattern and oversize it so you can use it as a wrap pattern for your paint protection. So we'll close out of here and we'll go back to our Mustang. I'll go back up here rather than scrolling through all this we'll go back to the Ford Mustang here. Pull it up and we'll pull up our two front windows again and pull it into the plotter dialog. And next is the text function. If you click on that, then you can select fonts in here and type in text to be used in Computer Cut. And these fonts are not Computer Cut fonts. These are fonts that are stored in the font folder 
of your computer. To get to your font folder, you can go into the start menu here and do a search down here for your font folder, and that's where your fonts are stored. So if you want a particular font and it's not in Computer Cut, you would have to find it on the internet and download it and install it into your font folder.